Haynes manuals are going away. Fortunately, this doesn't mean that the ones that already exist are going to be out of print. They're still going to make some of these books, but they have stopped producing new ones. Now, those of you that work on cars a lot, especially those of you who did it before YouTube repair videos were a big thing, uh, probably remember these books and, to a lesser degree, these tech books. These books for particular vehicles are probably their most well-known books, but they also make Haynes manuals for other things, including some fictional vehicles. Haynes is shifting away from this type of physical book and more towards digital stuff so you can access it online. Haynes even has a YouTube channel and I recommend checking it out, but it falls into the same problem that my channel does and that some people find my channel for, say, the GTO content and don't necessarily care about repairs on a Crosstrek or a Mercury Montego. So that kind of splits my viewership, but imagine that multiplied across every vehicle ever made. I don't know of a better way to do it because Haynes is just making repair videos. It makes sense what they're doing. From a subscriber standpoint, it's a little weird, but what are you going to do? Now back to these books. Even though the production numbers are probably going to steadily go down as they phase these out and move towards a digital medium, uh, these are very nice in that you don't have to worry about the charge of your cell phone or tablet or whatever you're using, the screen size, your data signal, your Wi-Fi signal. You never had to click that stupid I consent to cookies pop-up on any of these books. When you're working on the car, you can hand this off to one of your friends that's helping you, and you don't have to worry about them seeing your texts as they come in. There was much less eye strain and pretty much no ads. The only ones that I remember were ads for more Haynes manuals in the back of the book. There we go, just a listing for more manuals. Now, to be fair and not overly nostalgic about these things, by their limitations, they can't contain video. They contain pictures, but video is something that shows you the action of what is being done, and there's definitely an advantage to that. So overall, I think moving from books to digital is a smart business move. I think getting rid of these entirely is a bad idea, and they're technically not doing that. They're still producing the books that already exist, but they're not making more books. I think they should have continued making more books, even if that meant reducing the library expansion rate to just the super popular models like the Toyota Camry and Ford F-150. They were already skipping some of the more obscure models out there, like my Pontiac GTO. They don't make a manual for that. There are still some people out there that will never look for instructions on YouTube and will only buy manuals like this. How do you feel about no new repair manuals like this one being made? How many Haynes repair manuals do you own or have you owned, or have you never owned one of these at all? Let me know in the comments below, and I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video. Thanks for watching. I still see the don't trust some random dude on YouTube attitude still going strong today, but we all know what kind of YouTube channel they typically watch.